Hello and welcome to What The Math. Let's talk about series. That's another topic related to arithmetic and geometric sequences that we covered in the previous videos. And series really means this. It can also be written as the sum of numbers. And I'll tell you in a second what I mean by this. Let's look at a simple example. Let's just pick five numbers. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Now this is an arithmetic sequence. If you remember from the last video, you can find your difference here. The difference here is 2. Um, U1, the first term, is also 2. And we have 5 numbers, so our n equals to 5. And let's just find the sum of these numbers. So what are, if you add these up, what will you get? And you'll get, you'll get 30. So the sum of these numbers is 30. And essentially, this is what we call series. Uh, so series refers to the sum of numbers. But to make things simpler, there's, of course, a, a formula or an expression we're going to use to, to calculate this. And the expression is in your book and also is going to be in your formula sheet as well. And it's written as follows. And it is Sn, so this is sum of certain numbers. So in, in our case, it's uh, 5 numbers, n equals 5, equals to n divided by 2, and in brackets you have u1 plus uh, u1 plus un. Now un here, if you remember, is actually also an expression. So you can rewrite this whole thing as uh, n divided by two u1 plus u1 plus d and minus one. Or in other words, sum or series uh, arithmetic series or sum of these numbers equals to 2u1 plus d and minus 1. And so let's just let's just see if we got this right. So let's find out if it's actually 30. So for this particular example, our Sn is going to equal, or S5 is going to equal 2. So the sum of these five numbers is going to equal to uh, 5 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 times 2 plus 2 and minus 1 is 4 and if we solve this we'll get sum of these five numbers equals to uh, 5 divided by 2 4 plus 8 and then it equals 2 uh, 5 divided by 2 multiplied by uh, 12 which is, this cancels out, you get 6 here, which equals to 30. The answer is 30. Um, and this is an arithmetic sequence. So this is arithmetic series, arithmetic um, uh, sum of numbers. And the function or an expression that you'll be using for this is either this that's going to be given to you on the test. So just remember that you this is the one you have to use. Or if you want to make it a little bit simpler to use, it's, this is a little bit longer, but this is the one that will can use if you only have d, um, the difference, first term, and if you only have n. All right, now let's look at geometric series, which is basically the same thing, but for geometric um, sequences. So let's come up with another example. So it's going to be 2, 4, but this time we're going to be multiplying by 2. So we're multiplying these by 2, and this will give us 8, 16, and 32. So here, our u1 is still 2, our n is still 5, uh, and our common ratio is 2. Uh, but the sum will obviously be different, so because this is a geometric sequence here, we're multiplying uh, the number by 2. So our sum of these numbers, so if we sum them up, uh, if we sum up 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32, we will get 62. So the answer for geometric sequence um, will be 62. Now, what is the uh, expression for the geometric sequence? And let me just write it on top here. And the expression for the geometric sequence is this. It's u1 multiplied by r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Now, here it's important to realize that r cannot be 1. Otherwise, you'll be dividing by 0. So R cannot be one. Uh, just a little side note, uh, but usually you'll never really have R as one um, because basically if you multiply by one, you'll still get the same number. So two times one is two, two times one is two, two times one is two. Um, so to find the sum here, 
we just have to do the same thing we did before and we'll just put u1 in here so the u1 is 2 multiplied by uh, r which is 2 to the power of n which is 5 all of this minus 1 and then divide by r minus 1 which is 1 so let's try to calculate this so it's going to be 2 times 2 to the power of 5, which is, I believe, 32. And then minus 1. And divide by 1, you can cancel that out. And some of this geometric sequence, um, or basically the geometric series, equals 2, 2 multiplied by 32 minus 1, which is 31. And this gives us 62. So the answer is 62. All right, just to practice, let's try one of the problems from the book. This is actually example 17 on page 144. And the example is this. Let me just erase some of this stuff so it doesn't bother us. So this is the question. A geometric sequence has a first term 5 and a common ratio 2. The sum of the first n terms of the sequence is 635. Find n. So it's a word problem, but it's a pretty simple word problem. So uh, let's start by writing down what we know and then what we, what we have to find. So it's a geometric sequence. So meaning that something here is being multiplied, not added. So we have R and R is given to us. It's two. We have our first term U1, which is five. And we have the sum of N terms. So this is SN. Uh, which equals to 635. And what we're actually looking for is n. n is unknown to us. So let's try to find this. So we know that uh, sum or sn, uh, the series, equals to uh, u1 multiplied by r to the power of n minus 1 and then divided by r minus 1. Now we know some of these already, so we can actually write this as um, 635 equals 2, u1 is 5, 5 uh, multiplied by 2 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 which is 1. In other words you can write this as 635 equals to uh, 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of n minus 1. Now uh, you can obviously try to solve uh, for this n that we actually need to find uh, but to do this you need to use something called log logarithms and we, have, we actually haven't covered this yet and it's a little bit more challenging to do by hand so the easiest way to do this is to use your GDC and to then use the table so let's actually do that with using GDC so what we need to do is we need to copy this into our y1 and to then use the table feature on your GDC to find a uh, value of 635 and this will give us the value of n. So let's just let's try this. We go into our y and we type uh, 5 times bracket 2 to the power of x and then minus 1 bracket. Enter and go into your table and scroll down until you find 635 right here and the value of x is 7 which means that our n our n is 7 and that's pretty much it that's how you solve this problem using a combination of the uh, expression that's given to you on your formula sheet and the gdc and before we finish let's just summarize the uh, expressions that you should try to um, familiarize yourself with and use a little bit more and let's finish with a little bit of a summary uh, basically, arithmetic series and geometric series, which are basically sums, sums of numbers, uh, and arithmetic series can be expressed as Sn equals 2, um, n divided by 2, and then in brackets you have u1 plus un, which is actually can also be rewritten as Sn equals to uh, n divided by 2, 2u1 plus d uh, multiplied by n minus 1. So this you don't have to memorize but just make sure that you know when when and how to use it and then geometric series can be written as 
u1 times uh, r to the power of n minus 1. So make sure that this minus 1 is not in, in the power. And then all of this is divided by r minus 1. And that's geometric series. It looks a little bit easier than arithmetic series. Uh, and basically that's how you find the sum of numbers for a specific n. Uh, you'll actually ha see this a lot. A lot of the questions on the test will usually have this as the last um, question. So if you have a, b, c, d, d will usually be now find the sum of, you know, so many uh, numbers in the sequence. So you make sure that you know how to use this and when to use this. All right. So hopefully that was helpful and thank you for watching and good luck to you. Bye bye.